Now to the fire safety test. If a fire were to start in your home, would you know what to do? According to the Jacksonville Fire Rescue Department, there were 598 apartment and home fires in 2021. 209 of them started in the kitchen. Now as for this year, from January 1st to April the 18th, JFRD has responded to 210 apartment and house fires and 56 of those broke out in the kitchen. We know about fire extinguishers, but there are other products advertised on social media that also promise to help you put out a small fire. But should you buy them? Consumer investigator Lauren Verno brought us one of those products called a fire blanket. So Lauren, exactly what is it? So Tark, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but this is the fire blanket. It's made up of highly flame resistant material that can be used to smother a fire. Now I had never seen or even heard of this before I saw an ad for one pop up in my social media feed. It looked simple enough. And to me, it seemed less intimidating than a fire extinguisher, which I had never used before. So we asked local firefighters to help us put the fire blanket to the test. This is the video on social media that first caught my eye. To have a, a non-trained professional try to get that close to the fire to, to, to smother it uh, is concerning. We showed the ad to the president of the Jacksonville Firefighters Association, Randy Wise. That looks super smooth while they're in that situation. Right. You're likely not going to be that calm. Uh, you are going to be in panic mode, sure. But maybe it was that easy in real life. We simulated as close to a real life situation as we could. Well, we recommend that uh, you uh, need to stay away. Um, and uh, that's why these uh, these blankets uh, are a little concerning that, uh, you know, if you, if you got somebody as uh, close to that, that they may receive some burns. Well, if you stay far enough away, you, you would not. And as flames grew, even the professionals questioned our test. You really want to go over there? I'm going to throw it. Right. So and throw just it. as I seem confident. It. It's better. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> not! Are you kidding me? In case you missed it, the flames got so hot, the glass on the oven exploded. Listening to that shock right there, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. Okay, I'm willing to throw it. I'm not willing to. Well, come, come this way. Okay. So that's how well that worked. I let Weiss try, but by then, most of the fuel had burned off. And even though he was able to get much closer. Try to get it totally over it, even this close, right? Even. It, it's hard. I'd have to actually, <laughs> right? So, it, I mean, it's, it's just very it hard. Just... To... You notice there. And I notice you're on it. Oh my gosh. So it's just, I mean, it's really hard to do. But to give the blanket the benefit of the doubt, the wind had picked up when we attempted the first time. All right, we're gonna try it again. And even though we were in a controlled environment. Chris, can you, by the way, swivel to show that he is uh, <laughs> on standby, ready to go? That's not nerve wracking at all to see. And maybe that's why. I feel much more comfortable getting closer. Yeah. Oh. There you go. See, unless you have full coverage on that, Wait. it's not gonna, and you'll see it actually start to burn. At a certain point, I felt like I was playing hopscotch waiting for the right moment to jump back in and fix the blanket. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I still have a fire. You still have a fire. And taking it off, the blanket wasn't actually destroyed. The material's not actually burning, it's the fuel that was on it that was but burning. But regardless, you that was as fire. close as I got. Yeah, right. I got very close, I fixed it. Yeah, and it didn't work, yeah. Oh, are we gonna say that this is a... <laughs> <laughs> no. And if the demonstration was not enough, another reason Wise was hesitant about the fire blanket? Take a closer look at the labeling. Wise says look for the UL listing on the packaging, which means a product has been tested and determined that the product meets specific defined requirements. I, I don't see any UL listing on this fire blanket first defense. The fire extinguisher we bought had the UL listing right on the box, and we didn't have to pay much more. The two fire blankets we bought cost $35.04. The two fire extinguishers, just 90 cents more. And if you've never used a fire extinguisher, I learned firsthand not to be intimidated. Because I'm scared that I won't know how to use it in right. a situation. So there's a little acronym with this, we call it PASS. PASS helps you remember the order. As mentioned, pull the pin, aim, squeeze the handle, and sweep back and forth. And right on cue, the flames shot up. And sweep back and forth. Sweep, 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 stop. Ah! 
that one worked. <laughs> I mean, it was not even a comparison not of sure. right. how difficult that was right. compared to that. And your risk is a lot less because you're obviously not as close to it as you would be of applying the blanket. Yeah, I mean, it looks nice on social media, but. Uh, yeah, but in real life, we could see that this uh, is probably your better option. Fun test. All right, and Randy Wise wanted me to point out, regardless if you use a fire extinguisher or a fire blanket, call 911 first. He said Jacksonville Fire Rescue can get to you in minutes. The average response time around four to six minutes. And to see just how many fires JFRD has responded, broken down month by month, including those that start in the kitchen, just look inside this story on newsforjacks.com. So interesting. And thank you for doing this test so that we could all see it. I had so much like burn marks on me. I, they were like, do you need to wash up? I went, no, 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 no. It's going to make me look tougher when I go back to work. <laughs> I just so I have a quick question for you. Can you use that blanket to wrap around yourself in the awful you know, case that you're stuck in a house fire? Uh, again, this is all worst case scenario. And, and really why said, as a last result, result, sure, resort, I should say, sure, but it's not going to do much. And he said, by then, you should already be out of the house if you're going to be using this. And at that point, he's more worried about the smoke inhalation than the actual burns. But, I mean, it. the options are there. We're just saying the firefighters told us you're going to want to stick with the extinguisher. And, and I second that. Right. <laughs> Eye-opening report, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Wow. <laughs> All right. So if you're a News for Jax insider, you will want to know this. Uh, you saw this story first. We sent it to you yesterday. And right to your email inbox. If you want to first look at exclusive stories before everyone else, you can sign up for free to be an insider too. Just go to newsforjax.com slash insider.